journey started into composing when I was about five years old and I started hearing a whole new world of sounds and music basically in my head and while other kids were playing with blocks and Lego and stuff like that I was just sitting there and listening to what I had in my head and I was tinkering on the piano we had a piano that was so out of tune in the house and uh, I was trying to get it out somehow and I went to the kitchen and I made drum sets out of pots and kettles and it was a mess and uh, my parents didn't understand it until finally you know when I you know used all the kitchen appliances and found all the boxes and put shoestrings and, and, and rubber bands to make guitars out of it they finally sent me to a piano teacher uh, but that didn't go so well <laughs> it's um, a story by itself but it started out as me trying to play what I heard in my head and I didn't have the capability, so that didn't happen. And she wanted me to play music by all the great composers, Mozart included, <laughs> and I couldn't because I didn't know how to read music. So it was this frustrating dynamic between the two of us that eventually led for, you know, to a breakup. But I went on with my life and I went through breakups of my own relationships and music was always there, always. And I remember in high school, I used to print out music theory books and orchestration books and hide them in my math books and geography books so the teachers would think that I was actually studying when I was studying music and I'd skip school and go home and, and just go to the li local library and study the scores of the great composers and those were my true teachers you know Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, Wagner, all those and um, I kept on working on my tools so that I would one day be able to express myself, how I heard it in my head. And uh, when I wrote this piece that you're about to play, uh, we were, you're about to hear, that we we're about to play, um, I thought to myself, when I finally put the last dot on that piece, I think that little five-year-old would probably say, I think you did it. I think you found a way to get your music out of your head and onto paper so that people in the world can hear it. So this is Thank you. the journey has been long 35 years but here we are and this piece is called Love Suite but it's not the love for a woman or a, a girl it's a, a love for music basically for me. So here we are Love Suite.